Hi everyone, this is your instructor Joy. Let me first play a little tune for you. This is a little excerpt from Beethoven's Kreutzer Sonata. Um, a subscriber was, subscriber was wondering about this particular technique of pizzicato and arco and how one could switch back and forth quickly. Thank you very much for your nice question and thank you all for your continued support. Please check out also my other videos at steamit.com and please remember to upvote. Um, so let me explain to you what pizzicato is. Pizzicato is the one that we use our finger and we pluck the note like that. And arco is the one that we go back to using the bow like no. Sometimes in the sheet music you say pits, P-I-Z, Z and a little dot that indicate asking us to pluck using fingers. It could be, um, there are many ways of doing pizzicato. So for the very first time pizzicato player, it's easier just to grab the bow like that and just stick a finger and then just pluck that one. When you do that, try not to plug where the rosin is. Go rather near fingerboard where there's no rosin. That way you don't get sticky finger. And it's easier to plug as well here than there. Yeah, and sounds nicer. Another, well, two more ways of doing pizzicato is if it's, if you're pizzi, uh, if you're doing a lot of pizzicatos one after the other, sometimes we rest our thumb on the corner of the fingerboard. That way we can kind of rest and then we can keep pluck that one. Do you see that? Like that. So on the corner and then you pluck that. But sometimes we have to switch to arco when the music says, meaning that you have to go back to using the bow. Then if you're holding the bow like this, it, there isn't just enough time. For example, here we have to pluck and then go right away. But if we had held the bow like this and then that would be taking too much time. In that case, so you would just hold the board like the way you would normally do, and then you would stick out a finger. But make sure the rest of the finger, including, including the thumb, is ready to go. So like this, pluck, and then bow. Again. Here. So some people use middle fingers because it's a stronger finger. Um, some people switch middle finger or index finger. I personally prefer to have an index finger stretch and then that's easier to do. That's one way of knowing how to switch from pizzicato to arco really quickly. Another one is, in this case, we need to do um, not just one pizzicato, but we're using three strings, D, A, E. I think I got a... That's another thing if you pizzicato too, if you do a lot of pizzicato, so the string gets plucked a lot and then it could go out of tune. <laughs> so make sure um, that you can tune in between if you can. Anyhow, so because it's such a loud um, note, we have to do three, three notes. So when you do chords, pizzicato, we do it a little bigger, like a diagonal, like this. Yeah? Just do like this, it doesn't sound good enough, so you want to do a little diagonally and try to pit with the where there's a flesh is not at the tip where near the nail is, but rather where the flesh is. And this particular one, let's go back to the Beethoven Kreutzer Sonata. Here, because we have to do a forte and pizzicato, you want to do not only diagonal but almost make a circle like this. Yeah, you see, I'm making circle. And here, you do circle motion gives that one again, circle. So the circling and changing to arco, that should be somewhat in mo one motion. Try not to uh, do one pizzicato mm, like this. And that doesn't work, that's already late. It's, you should breathe as though in one impulse. So pizzicato impulse should carry on to the arco, to the bowing, like this. Again. Like that, yeah? So 
um, pizzicato can be very interesting and as dramatic as beautiful, but make sure you um, pluck loud enough. Don't be shy to pluck really loud. It may sound loud to your ears, but remember, the audience should be able to hear your pizzicato as well. Yeah? Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and hope to see you again.